Guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Let's let's do a draft where we don't suck at it. There hasn't been a go There hasn't been a ghost cop mic here for 45 years. Did you say ghost car mic? I don't understand. There hasn't been a ghost car mic here for for 45 years. Huh. All right, let's try this again. I've been enjoying this format. It's weird. And it's it takes some getting used to. And I feel like the power level is actually a little bit higher than it should be. I always feel like everyone has the nuts. But I mean, that's just life, you know. Did Pet Cemetery feel like it needed a remake? Uh, no. I don't think so. But then again, like... I'm not sure, like, what... I don't know what a movie that needs a remake feels like. You know what I mean? I don't know what it feels like for a movie to need a remake. I think it just... It just kind of happens. You're just like, hey, I like this movie. I'd like to redo it. I don't know. I don't know the... <laughs> oh, man. Here's... I don't know if you guys uh, ever read the hard times uh, they're, they're like a music based onion. And here's an article titled five post hardcore albums that just remind us we're not listening to relationship of command, which was an at the drive in record, man. That's, that's pretty hilarious. What up, Kurt? What up, Chris? Hey, everybody. Chris's birthday was yesterday, so you guys should wish, wish Chris a happy birthday. A happy post-birthday. Oh, I didn't even see the start of the truth with the stream revived, birthday salvaged. I didn't even see that. That's wonderful. Ooh, Atrata seems good. All of these cards seem good, though, right? This is officially a birthday. Wow, this is a birthday stream now. It's Mike B's birthday. Yesterday was Chris's birthday. It's Distorted Truth's birthday. Chris, you know what I heard? Nobody likes you when you're 31. And you still act like you're in freshman year. I want to take a Trotta. It feels like the best. Wow, Tasa again? Can we try it again? Do we just keep on keep on tasting? Tasting? Keep on tasting. <laughs> what is your age again? That is the question. Boom, 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 boom. I have no idea what to take here. Law Mage is binding. We could just go Esper again. But I mean, I'd probably take the taste over the Law Mage's Binding because it's, it's a funner build around card. A funner build. I'm just going to take Watcher in the Mist, right? I mean, this guy, we might not get a lot of surveil. This guy will always play in every blue deck, and it's a high pick. Then I remember I need to get my own health care my next birthday. Yikes. America. All right, well, this is rough. We could take this Golgari Guildgate and just try to be Sultai, all the Sultai. We haven't done Sulta yet. I like Imperius Oligarch. I'm going to start early with this Guild Gate. Are you ready? Ooh, they had the Beta Client going on some streamer's channel. It looks rad. That's awesome. HS, HS Replay is great. I took it. I didn't even care. I didn't even care about your underwear. What does that mean? Eh, nobody knows. It's basically nonsense. Um, it's just gritty. And I guess if we should have taken the petitioner. Oh, don't do that. No, none of these are no, none of these are these are all seated boosters. The first pack is mostly gold cards. 
uh, from both sets, and the second and third packs are um, mostly monocolor and fixing. I'm gonna take Titanic Brawl. We we got the Guild Gate. Did you guys hear that Frank was forcing Sultai? What a maniac. What an absolute maniac. Who would do that? Who would even do that? HS Replay is the same. Are they the same? Did they make Deck Tracker? Hearthstone Death Deck Tracker? Because that is a solid piece of software. But you're still the same. I'm giving you an eye call. Noxious Grudian, I guess, because we might not be green. I don't know, man. Is it better than Capture Spear? Probably. Is it better than Rubble Slinger? Maybe. Is it better than Titanic Brawl? Probably not. I'll take the Brawl. Simic Gilligan again? I'm just going to take all of these lands. If you're miling then you're smiling i don't think that's i don't think that's how the i don't think that's a saying if you're milling then you're smilling <laughs> wait yes they make hearthstone down they make a deck tracker, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Hearthstone deck tracker, like the main one, is pretty pretty insanely good. I want to take this Rhizome Lurcher. I don't know if our deck is going to be any good. I'm going to I'm gonna say it right now, guys. We're having a good time, and I don't know if this deck's going to be any good whatsoever. Rakdos Firewheeler? Someone's going to late Rakdos Firewheeler. Rhizome Lurcher is bay. That dude is... That dude is legit. Do you like foragers? Because this is how you get foragers. I think they're alright. I think 4-4 four four is actually pretty sizable in this format, so... You know, it's, uh, it's whatever. I'm also pretty hungry. I probably should have... Badger, yeah, we can do some... Let's do some, uh, let's do some creature lands tomorrow. I'm down. You're 15 hours ahead of me, so if I start at 2... It's like 5 a.m. for you? That's insane. Why are you awake at that hour? I don't understand it. Yeah, the problem is like, I'm hungry and like it's 7.30 now. So like when I get done with this, it'll probably be like 9.30. So my options are going to be limited. And no, we're playing limited right now as well. I don't care about Necrotic Moon. I think it's just Dark Blade Agent. Dark Blade Agent's pretty good. Oh, and someone's due to PTSD, depression, and anxiety. Hmm. Well, that just got a lot sadder than I expected. Get all the rats. Oh, man. Burglar Rats OP. Hopefully there's a bunch because the uh, the second two packs are meant to be uh, more monocolored than the rest. We could have gotten petitioners and milled ourselves. You mean mild ourselves? Gruel Beastmaster and a second Rhizome Lurcher came back? Wow. I think we're going to take the second Lurcher. Gruel Guildgate, huh? Okay. I'm, I'm on board. I'm listening. Yeah, ABL is actually pretty solid advice. Always be lurching. I lurch every day, boy. And 
and a last pick a goblin gathering Rick's Maddie Reveler District Guide's pretty nice. Sora Farm Hybrid is a pretty nice. I think it's between these two, and I think actually District Guide might be better in the three color deck, which is probably all the decks in this format. Yeah, I'll take a District Guide. Not a super exciting pick, but a solid pick nonetheless. But you're still the same. I don't know how many uh, surveil cards we're going to have here, but it is a 2 3 for 3. Crawl Harpooner is pretty sweet. I'm a fan of a Crawl Harpooner here. Seems fine. Uh, Mortify is nice. Dead weight is pretty good. I think it's probably the dead weight here. Can't really play Mortify. And dead weight is still solid removal. Ideally, the hybrid or the Muse Drake comes back, or the Whisper Agent, or the Shield Mate. Yeah, there's a bunch of cards that can come back there. I'm not gonna pass the dead weight there. That is some that's some premium removal right there. We really could have made the... Are you guys counting the number of petitioners that have gone by? Make sure you check your four drops tech box for your game so you don't get caught. There's a functional errata. Wait, what? There's a functional errata. Wow. <laughs> Biogenic upgrade actually seems insane with Lurcher because Lurcher gets counters. Of all the creature types, which creature type would you think of Samuel L. Jackson will be? I can't tell if this is a joke and there's an answer that's funny or if I'm just literally being asked that. Definitely not a snake. Definitely not a snake. Oh, it's your boy. Welcome back. Welcome back, Indrik. Welcome back. Easy pick. Uh, hopefully the Simic Guildgate comes back. I'll even take a Prey Pawn. But we do have two Titanic Brawls, so... Sacred Foundry. Burglar Rat. Oh, yes. Give me all of them rats. 
One rat down, one more to go. That doesn't make any sense. Multiple more to go. As many more to go as I can get my burglar hands on. Golgar Guildgate? Yes. Yes. Let the guild gates flow through you. One, two, three. There's nine cards in this pack. One card is going to come back. I imagine it's going to be a Hunter's Hawk. That's my guess. <sighs> oh, that's a good one. I like this as a two drop. This is nice. That's nice. That's nice. I'm going to take it. Probably better than Prey Upon. We have double Titanic Brawl already. I've watched your cast drafts on YouTube. It was nice. I already missed playing them. Yeah, cast drafts were super fun when they were up. Human Mercenary gets paid to do things. Hmm. Is there a mercenary creature type? Muse Drake came back. That's pretty cool. So did Gruel Guildgate. Which we already have one of. We don't really have anything worth splashing. We could take Command. Splash it off the Guildgate. Could just take Muse Drake. Yeah, Muse Drake is better. It's actually in color. This is actually fine. The Dissident is nice. It's not as it's not nearly as good as the new one, which is like yeah, it becomes a 6-6 six, six forever for one more instead of a 5-5 five, five for every single turn. But it's still a solid... Yep, alright. He came back. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, Prey Upon came back. Wow, the Simic Guildgate came... Oh, yeah, Simic Guildgate's fine. Sure. That guy's definitely playable. That was a super late Erinx. Uh, I like a City Watch Sphinx a lot. I also like a Chillbringer. Hmm. City Watch Sphinx is probably better. Maybe it's not better than Chillbringer, actually. It's also five mana, so it fits better on our curve. I think we're going to take the Chillbringer. There's also a Deadly Visit, which we don't actually have a ton of removal. It's probably Deadly Visit, even. We have Affectionate Indric. We have Deadweight. We have two Titanic Brawls and a Prey Upon, actually. That's not, that's not actually terrible. I think it's either one of the two five drops. I have a gentle breeze now blowing through the house, completely ruined now by the faint smell of poop coming from somewhere down the street. <laughs> Australia, am I right? God, it's just poop everywhere. I think that was on one of the official ad campaigns for, for Australia. Where they're like, Australia, poop everywhere. And I was like, that seems, that doesn't seem right. I'm going to take this. I think the deadly visit's probably correct. Dead Revels is interesting. That is not a card that should be in with the with the Golgaris. The Golgaris is the name of my new sitcom. And that's their last name. It's about a family named Golgari. Oh, that's my Golgaris. I'm going to take this Dead Revels. Eyes Everywhere is neat. Hired Poisoner is also neat because it's a nice card that we can just play. Have it go to the trash can, which I think we want. I don't think we care too much about the uh, eyes everywhere. I'll also cut the prey upon. We have two Titanic Brawls, which are instant speed. Ooh, Mulder Hulk is a nice late game, dude. Easily cutting Dark Blade Agent. That guy does nothing. Oh, Gatebreaker Ram. We have five gates. We have six gates with the Gruel Guild Gate, but there's an Artful Dot, Artful Takedown in the pack as well. I think we have to take the Gatebreaker Ram here. I don't even feel bad about it. Oh, now we can take this Gateway Plaza. Oh yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. What? Oh my god. Damn, boy, he fit. Boy, that's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! Uh, 
Oh man, the double ram, and then we we go we go ram gateway plaza ram, and now we have one two three four five six seven, seven guild gates. That's just gasoline. <sighs> Nothing here really stands out. A second biogenic upgrade's pretty cute, but we can also take the gruel guild gate. I don't think we want an eighth guild gate here. We can also take just crocodile as a big idiot. I think it's probably crocodile as a big idiot. I don't think we want to. Actually, I'll just take the upgrade. Second upgrade has to be better than first crocodile, right? Yeah, the buck bar really. The buck bar really sells it. We need two cuts so far. Jeez. I'm tempted to get the double blue watcher, but we already have four fixing lands for blue. And a district guide, so it just seems bad. I think Rubble Slinger is probably a mediocre creature. We just don't have any reason to cut blue. You know what I mean? Like Atrada is a really strong. Muse Drake is probably pretty meh. Um, none of these cards are great. Skewer the Critics is nice that we have a Gruel Guild getting a Gateway Plaza. If one of those other Gruel Guild Gates tables, we can. That is a late Skewer the Critics. That should not still be in that pack. But what do I know? I'm no expert. Stomping ground? Actually, I like Mammoth Spider. We don't have a Mammoth Spider. Revoriar, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. What's this sexy gate deck I have walked into? Well, I could tell you. But then I'd have to kill you. Guys, tell me where I should get dinner after this. I don't actually know. I can't make anything because I don't have anything in the house. Oh, Black Betty, run around my Lambo. Oh, Black Betty, run around my Lambo. Black Betty. Gate ram. Oh, it's Ellis Chicken. How dare you, dude? How dare you? That's cold. God, this Ellis sounds delicious. I would totally go get some Ellis with you. Scuttle Gator. Brush Trader might be better than Grudian. I don't know, man. Taco sounds all right. Get a chicken pot pie. That sounds all right. You should probably ask Mike since it's his birthday. Mike's going to be at work till like 1 a.m. So I ain't going to wait for that, dude. More like neuter the crit. Is it? Is it more like that? This is 19 creatures. So I'm not even like, I'm not even worried about cutting creatures here. Is Gridian better than Sylvan Brush Strider? Yeah, this is probably our deck right here. I like having 17 creatures because it's a good amount for the for the Lurchy boys. Gemma the Pupper. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. What a time to be alive. Alright, so this is our deck, and these are our lands. I don't think we played the real guild gate. I think six guild gates is probably enough. Yeah, we're definitely light on the blue. But we have one, two, three, four, seven. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can easily cut one of these. Four, five, six, seven. This is eight black and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then three, four, five, six. So this is nine, eight, seven. Deal. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, Goblin Nick from the chat just posted some tacos on Facebook and they're looking pretty legit. So now I'm like leaning towards tacos. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, this hand is juicy.
Let's go with this guy. I like how tacos get their own day, but they're good for just about... A yeah, I'm like, oh, is it Taco Tuesday? No. Oh, well, I'll get tacos anyway. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Taco bus beep beep. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's about the gist of it. I just want to get injured back with Dead Revels. Dead Revels. What day does chicken have? The answer is every day. Every day is chicken Sunday. That's my Morrissey voice. I don't know if it's good. It's probably not good, but that's fine. I hate this guy because they're going to be able to crack in and we're going to have to block it. And I don't want to block it with this guy because he's too good. He's just too good. Oh, I can block with that guy, though. Come on, rat. And we can get the, we can get the rat back. God, what a deal. I am going to not attack again. Just stop it. Just stop attacking me. You're making me feel bad. Is that what you want? Well, I'm going to pass again. <laughs> Ugh. We're just a little far, but I mean, I think it's actually fine. Yeah, that's that's fine. This is actually good cuz now we can injure this idiot. That was rude. Should I have called him an idiot? Probably not. Is it okay? Probably. Get him. Baby man, dude. Did I say baby man? That's good lord. Why am I like this? Baby man, do 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 do. I mean, this is a solid attack. I mean, I was gonna pump this dude anyway. Oh, it's gotta be double green. All right, I'll pay. I'll use these for God, green, green. I said. We got a siege worm. It's whatever, dude. Whatever, my dude. Baby shark. Mama shark. Do, 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 do. So I'm pretty sure we're just double blocking this guy, and then we get back both of these, and then it's just extreme advantage. That's fine. Marsala wood shaper, chicken Marsala wood shaper. Oh, Morgan gifting a sub to her little pup, Gemma the pupper. That's actually, that's pretty cute. All right, yeah, we're definitely double blocking this dude. She wouldn't shut up until I did. Well, that's that's pups if you know if you, if if you know what I'm saying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm really hoping I can. Don't block. They're going to block. They blocked. Why doesn't my dude have trample? One, two, one, two, three, four. We are one land away from just being able to cast Indricky McDrickerson. I think we're still in very good shape there. Do you think sharks are aware of these songs humans sing to them? I don't think so. It was the most complicated joke I have ever done. Where is Hunter's Twitch account? Oh, man. Oh, also, I went to let you guys know, if you ever want to email Hunter, you can email Hunter at hunter at franklapore.com. 
Hunter has his own email address. And sometimes he responds. So if you guys wanted to email Hunter, you're welcome to do so. I think he's actually coming over here because I said his name so many times. <laughs> How exciting you guys all got at that is actually mind-blowing. We're going to deadweight this guy because now you have to... Now you have to commit to pumping him. And then once you do that, we're going to Indrick his friend. I'm going to Indrick your friend. Uh, he has the death sentence on 12 systems. I'll be careful. You'll be dead. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, but he doesn't have... All right, I'll just chump block. He doesn't have trample. That's fine. I'm not, taking, I'm not taking nine here. What are you, crazy? What are you, some kind of maniac? So we can actually fight here. Or we could fight here, actually. And I think that just wins us the game, right? Okay. Nah. And then both of these are lethal. Yeah, that works. Oh, baby shark. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Harpooner is only flying, but we still have a brawl in hand to make sure the magic happens. Brawl in hand. Frank and Jazzy with the shark memes. I do what I can. Today's been a long day. I got about six hours of sleep. Which is like surprisingly affected me recently. More and more recently, if I don't get like eight hours, I feel like exhausted later at night. It's I get I get much more tired at night. Um But I got about six hours of sleep. I woke up at like eleven thirty. Went to bed at like five thirty because I was doing my taxes all night. Doing my taxes all night, boys. Um whatever that means. Hunter Dog donated one dollar one. I'm waiting for your email book. <laughs> And then I had to drop my car off at 3, but I didn't actually drop it off. I just hung out the whole time because the guys were super nice. It was kind of cool. And it was like right next to my house. It was like five minutes away from my house. So I was like, I can either walk home or I can just hang out while they do things and just talk to them about it. Because they were just super chill. It was like a super chill shop. And uh, so I did that. And then that actually took until about 3.30. Then I had some food and then we started streaming at 5.30 and... Uh, Josh, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the donation. Thank you for being a super cool dude. How unnecessarily complicated are your taxes when you have a bajillion sources of income? It's not even the, the sources of income. It's actually all the deductions I can make. So, like, every time I buy a card, I can deduct it. Every time I go to a, a meal with, like, let's say Mike B, I can be like, oh, we talked about magic. So, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a dinner. It's kind of like a, it's a work, it's a work dinner. You know what I mean? So, like, all these little silly expenses that you wouldn't even think of. If I were a long and profound letter to Hunter, would you not be freaked out? I probably wouldn't be. I mean, you're welcome to... I can't, I can't, I can't help the, the relationships Hunter has, you know? <laughs> One, I'm waiting for your email, Buck. Oh. Lions are open. We're waiting for your email. Uh, I will pay this.
It's funny because like if if like Chris, if like you and I go to like Maggiano's or something, oh man, are they gonna are they gonna try to pump this dude and then I get to blow them out with Titanic Brawl? Oh no! Don't do it! Don't do it, man! Okay. Oh no! You're gonna have a righteous blow. Yeah, it's actually fine. We have Lurcher and Dead Rebels in hand. I'm not too concerned with that. Remember when Nigel hung out with Hunter and had a bunch of fun and then Nigel ate all of Hunter's food and threw up? Yeah, I remember Nigel being super scared at first and then once he got out of his cage, he was like, oh, this is all right. Dogs are pretty cool. Let's gain two. Yeah, so as I was saying, if like Chris, if me and you went to Magianos or something and they were like, hey, remember that? What do you think of the new Hearthstone expansion? How do you think that's gonna how do you think that's gonna play out? That's basically a business dinner at that point. I could be like, well, talked about talked about business, so. I guess we just play Rise on Lurcher as a 3-3, but it's really kind of unfulfilling. But if we add three counters, it becomes real big next turn, so I guess that's okay. You know, I guess that's okay. Man, they've played two three mana. So what you're saying is that whenever you hang out in Dimension, one thing that you make content about at least once. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, well, this is just a business dinner. That makes total sense. Okay, so they have two cards. I feel like if we upgrade here, I think we're in pretty cool shape. So if we put two counters, I think we want to put two counters on this guy, right? It's just better threats. Yeah, let's do it like that. Let's do it. How much would you have to be able to duck for you to write a short paragraph of explanation with every saved receipt? Oh, that's really sad that you would do that. Well, now I'm glad I put the counters on this guy. I'd, have, I'd probably have to be able to deduct more than I, I currently am able to for me to do all that nonsense. Hey, Frank, isn't Modern Horizons fun? Yeah, this is a business trip. <laughs> Disneyland is cool. It actually is pretty cool. Hi, my name is Frank LaPorte. Would you like to learn about Magic the Gathering? Sir, this is Burger King. <laughs> I understand. Oh. A 6-6 six, six and a 6-6. Six, six. And this guy's a 5-5. Five, five. What, what if we play this? Oh, man. God. No beats, what did you say? Did you answer my question? Oh, see. Oh. <laughs> Please answer the question. Look, I need this, buddy. Please answer my question about... Uh about Magic the Gathering. Buddy, I need this. Oh, it's only a 4-4, four, four, not a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, we're probably just going to block it. I like it when they... I need to duck my $5 chicken fries and a die kick because I need you to tell me what you think. Listen, buddy. I need this. You think chicken fries grow on trees? I should have gained life there. Oh, well, that's fine, I guess. Magic is fun. Um, God, I want both of these. So, one, two, I get two creatures. This guy costs seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. I guess we can put this on top, and we'll put this on top next, because we can still do things. I don't know, man. Oh, we should have actually put that in the graveyard, and then we should get it back with the stupid idiot next turn. God, who's so... I'm so dumb. And we could have also killed this and then just attacked with both. I'm not playing optimally at all right now, just so you guys know. I'm really distracted by this chicken fries writing off business dinners conversation. I mean, it's funny because it's like... It's, it's all you can do, really. Like, as an independent contractor, as a self-employed person in the American... Uh, 
in the American United States, like it's all you can do to really like give value because like you're not not get value, but like save as much as you can, let's say, because um you get taxed at a much higher rate. So it's kinda like it kinda sucks. So they block here, we can go dead revels, get these back. One thing we can also do is give Menace and then just win the game, right? Got him. Brian Kibler has fries. <laughs> yeah. I also, I still deduct hotels. Anytime I travel anywhere, I'm just like, gotta go. On my taxes, that is. Whatever that means. If Frank went to Brian Kibler's house and talked magic over burgers, pretty sure that count. Oh, that would 100% count. That would definitely count. Your gift has subbed. <laughs> oh, it's a Hunter Lepore. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, that's something right there. Dear God. This is my life. I don't hate this hand. I'm going to keep it any green source, and we got a bunch of plays. Oh, my God, dude. Oh. All right, so we can just go like dead weight. Our deck, based on the first round, our deck seems pretty sweet. We got Poker Mage over here, but it's more like the SpongeBob meme where it's like Poker Mage, kind of like that thing, you know. Do I care about that guy? I don't know. Maybe. Woof 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 woof. Wow. Oh man, we're good at this game. Did you guys even? Did you even see what we drew there? I hear Chad is in hunter only mode. Oh man. I don't even know how you guys how do you guys exist? How does this chat exist? Look at all this, look at all this stuff I wrote. They just said, hey Frank, fan of your videos. I said, thanks so much, you too, the luck, not the videos. Though I imagine your videos would be great. Oh my god. Look at this chat, guys. Oh, they missed a land drop, though. That's no bueno. Oh, they missed two land drops? No, they just missed one land drop. We were on the play. This is the worst month to have spent my prime summer already. Someone gift Nifty Chris a sub. I only ask because I know you guys will do it. And that you won't even mind. They wouldn't poker they wouldn't poker mage have some very unique views on it. Wait, what? Is that true? Thank you. I can't tell if that, I was like, wait, do we know this person? Is this true? Morgan with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Got him. Oh, man. Okay, JK, JK. Thank goodness. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Don't be a misogynist. 
Man, can I tell you how good a gate would have been here? A blue gate specifically? Blue gate is also the name of the toothpaste I use. So you guys should uh, go check your local stores for the blue gate. That's, uh, that's now the new stream sponsor. I have like one clip for Sam Fable is a terrible idea. But a good time. Okay, so we're missing land drops. Yet again. Okay, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass the turn. Can't attack. When do we get a birthday emote? I've just realized we're just thinking Oh, a birthday emote would be great. That's a really good one. Oh man, good times. Not gonna block, nope, not blocking that. How come this ram doesn't have reach? Oh god, that guy's really problematic. Oh, that's great. No, it's not. There's nothing in our graveyard. Wait. Oh, it's... Wait, they just fight. Never mind. There doesn't have to be anything in the graveyard. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just going to pass here. Atomic Frog, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Hunter better get some goddamn chicken fries tonight. <laughs> wow, that was so aggressive. Oh, my God. That's amazing. You better feed that dog some goddamn chicken fries. Oh, Badger gifting 10 subs like you do. Thank you. Buddy, thank you so much, man. You are unbelievable. They've gifted 130 subs in this thank channel. You. Of course they have, because they're utterly ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. That's like a cow. And it's funny because the last sub was Cow Slug 1. Thank you. Which is also an utterly ridiculous name. Oh, no attacks. I like it. I like it. Okay. Thank you. Give me give me one lane one gate. Just a gate. Well ugh, six drop. That's actually almost identical to a gate. Thank if you. someone's like, hey, do you want a six drop or a gate? I'd be like, what's the difference? I can't even tell. They Thank look identical. You. Thank you. I feel like this game would be going ridiculously well if we could just hit land drops. Thank you. Franconic Disciple, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Glittery, welcome back. Handy Capable Gamer, welcome back. Thank M Luckett, Remaker, Cow Slug. It's funny because you gifted a lot of subs to people who have actually subbed a lot before. The Smirk, Sanji's, Zephoid. Thank you guys so much. Welcome. I guess I'm I'm thanking you guys even though you just were give it your gifted subs, but really appreciate it. Badger, you are the hero we need. Uh, you know, if any of these guys was also a 3-3, this Titanic Brawl would be much better as well. So you know. I feel like when your name is Franconic Disciple, it's almost criminal that you that you weren't like that you didn't have a sub at the at the current time. Yeah, let's see if you pay the two. I bet you do. Boom, 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 boom. You're correct, my name is ridiculous, but I'm grateful for the gifts and sub things. Hey, Cowslug, your name is great. I would not even Oh, you're gonna oh you're gonna mentor into this guy? Yeah, I don't love that. Nope, don't like that. I'm almost feeling like I should have killed these two. Hmm. Frank Laporte is a ridiculous name. You are not wrong, my friend. OK, 
gonna block you because you have float and I'm gonna double block you guys what turn is this anyway turn seven we've missed four land drops oh you're gonna do some shenanigans Whatever. It's a two for two. That's a two for two. Penny's <laughs> zealotry has its perks. I forgive it. it. It's not a crime here. We understand. We all support in our own ways. Wow, five drop. I almost want to just concede here because I'm not really like... They're not really having a great time. And this guy's going to mentor onto this guy next turn. They're going to float over for six. Yeah, I'm just going to be done here. Like, there's nothing we can really do that turns this game around in any, any surprising fashion. It's going to take us two, two turns to get a flying blocker out. I do like the 2-3 with reach up against this deck. Probably better than Spinal Centipede. I don't hate Mammoth Spider either. When is Cuba coming up? Not next week, but the week after. I believe it's the 23rd. That doesn't sound right. The 27th is when Cube comes up. Oh yeah, 100% keep this hand. Two drop, three drop, three drop with a gate. It is the legacy cube. Mana issues, I'm like all too familiar, my dude. All too familiar. I know your pain, my friend. This is a this is a song called Redemption. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> This is a song called Redemption Song by uh, Robert Marley. Yes, wrecked. That is correct. Water Sports Drew, what's going on, buddy? I actually read your I read your your Facebook comment on the air earlier in the first draft. That guy's pretty good. First strike is a hell of a drug. I guess we play Rubble Slinger because it just blocks. And we don't need a land here. And next time we can go Guildgate and District Guide into Watcher. It seems good. I can't tell if you're serious. Does Joe Strummer do a good red, red Redemption song cover? I literally can't tell if that's just a pun I'm not getting. Like or like a like a, a Joe Strummer reference. Like Oh wow, can you guys link me to it? I would definitely check that out. I would definitely check out a Joe Storer cover of Redemption Song. I do like the Ramones better. The Clash can suck it. I mean, don't get me wrong, dude. I appreciate... I appreciate the Clash for their their musical contributions, for sure. But 
like, let's be honest with ourselves here. That does not... Oh, well, that's cool. That does not make them better than the Ramones. Did you read it to make fun of me? Because <laughs> so I did not. I actually read it because it was a very complimentary comment, and I really appreciated it. And because you're just the sweetest, you're the you're the you're the you're just the sweetest boy. Um, yes. Let's get another black source here. No attacks. I just want to do my part to make sure you're liked by your new employee. That is a that is definitely a perk. That is definitely a, a solid strategy. Which number in your guild series? Uh, this would be number four, I believe. Because we did two yesterday, we're gonna do two today. This is the second one, so. Oh no. Oh, I might have put that on this guy, but I could see on either one. And then you get the mentor onto this guy and still float. Oh, floaty boy. No blocks. Oh, we can actually play a Trotta into. Yeah, we're probably just going to play a Trotta here. Into semi guild gate. This guy's still pretty obnoxious. This is a mix of all Ravnica sets. Uh, the, the two recent Ravnica sets, yeah. Uh, I've, I've said this before, but in case you guys missed it, the first pack is uh, mostly multicolor cards. And the second and third packs are mostly monocolor cards with a lot of fixing. So the first pack, you kind of choose where you, which direction you want to go. And the second pack, you kind of shore it up with, with other things. I'm having a real trigger warning. A weepy mess after watching it? Oh, no. But better with your voice. Yeah, well, I do what I can, Water Sports Drew. I do what I can. What a weird sentence that no one has ever uttered before in the history of... Oh, dang. I mean, to be fair, this guy is really holding back our team here. Goodbye. That was a fair trade. It was That's what's known as a two-for-one. We, we traded two of their cards for one of our cards. And three damage. Oh, I want both of these. So I'm just going to keep both of them. Oh, the album came out after, a year after Joe passed away? That's nut. That's, yep, that's a tearjerker. That'll do it. Twenty 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 four must be good. I wanna be sedated. There's no way to go. I wanna be sedated.
Can I just kill both their guys and attack for like three, four, five, six, under nine? It seems like a lot. I wanna be sedated. I just feel against the Boros deck that Titanic Brawl is probably at its at its best. Uh, I really don't want to attack with this guy. <laughs> Nothing to do, no way to go. Home. I wanna be sedated. Uh oh. They did have this trick. This is what I was trying to play around. Because I figured if we brawl, they pump. Yeah, that's what... This was problem. We have all the things. Alright, time to clock out and go home. Chris, have a good night, buddy. Much love. GRN seems like a long time ago. Well, you got to consider, like, Ravnica Allegiance has been out for, like, a month and a half, two months, I would say. And, um, you know, Guilds of Ravnica came out three months before that, even. So, wow, that was a pretty good, that was a solid turn. So, any card just kills this guy, and they were pretty rough. I mean, they're in top deck mode, so... What up, Valdez? Oh, uh, yep, that's that's gotta go. I mean, theoretically, this rubble rubble slinger can do the job, but man, electro dominance into. All right, well. Applied Biomancy. That's pretty good. That's going to be hard to deal with. <laughs> Imagine dying to some dumb idiot throwing rubble at you. Hey, buddy. Watch out. I got this rubble for you. Why are you throwing it? Oh, now we got that dead weight. Nothing to do. I'm just going to deadweight this guy because he deserves it. Bam. Get him. I'm going to say good games if they say good games. I'm going to wait for a second. Alright, I'm going to get out of here. Oh, it wasn't done yet. There's another game. Huh. I thought that was. I thought we won game one and then lost game two. I guess we just lost game one and then won game two. Weird. Doesn't feel like that was correct, but all right. Nothing to do. Oh, we got, I think we got crushed and mana screwed in game one. Yeah, that's about right. Is it just mana spider here? Maybe for one lurcher. I don't feel like our graveyard's filling up a tremendous amount. Also, mana spider's pretty nice. Okay, it's prison rules now, bud. <laughs> oh, good time. Z, good times. Oh my 
god, that hunter. Jeez. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh my god, this stream is ridiculous. This is we've gone off the deep end, the hunter deep end here. in this hand oh this is a keeper oh yeah you can stay you're my little rat boy perhaps it's time to let hunter make some picks oh uh, well uh, I don't think there's a reason to not play rat turn two Oh, now I now we're playing this for sure. Yeah, we'll gladly take two, and then we can ram next turn, or we can dead weight and rat. Either way, we got options. Oh, ratty boy, my little rat boy. I don't see. Well, Mike's not the rat boy himself. He actually just has a lot of rat debt. Rat that that. Burglar rat. I'm gonna burgle the cards out of your hand. So we got five more gates in our deck. It's a good amount. I just put together an Ornigov and Plague one of the same card. What does that even mean? Because this guy just can't be blocked by anything? If they go like Sky Knight Legionnaire, it's pretty bust. Ideally, we get an untapped land next turn. <laughs> if, they, if they have Sky Knight Legionnaire here, it's pretty good. Oh, they had it. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's, that's great. Oh, 
Wow, this is a lot of things that they're doing. Land? Not a land. Not a land. Oh boy. This guy's got Defender, and none of these guys can mentor onto each other, so that's good. Well, this floaty boy is kind of obnoxious, but if we hit land, land, I think we're good. Untapped land. Any, literally any untapped land is really where I want to be right now. I see. It appears you have jokes. Yeah, I don't I think we're dead. Like, we could have actually Dead Revels got a wrap back, which I think would have been probably better than not doing that. Because now we get to block two things, and we're still taking, like, seven... Yeah, I think we're just dead here. Whereas wrap might have actually saved us. Uh, I mean, it would have saved us a turn, really. Like, we don't really have a ton of ways to get back. Like, this is just a ridiculous series of things. Either way. I think we're still good. I agree with you. The farmer does feel less fun with their stripes. Stay in one land. Like it's if you're just going to take the best cards in one of the ten guilds that are present. Like I mean, it's one thing to to do that when there's five guilds, but when there's ten guilds present, like it's it's really it feels significantly less fun when you're like well, I'm just going to stick to this one guild. You got nine other guilds in the same packs. It also feels like when there's ten guilds in in the same packs, like it's harder to get everything from one guild uh two six drops and a nine drop i don't think that's where we want to be it's not terrible if we can hit a couple lands golgari guild get on the top perhaps forest will do forest will do pig I don't get the Lemony Snicket reference, but i that's just me. I'm getting so tired of Skynet Legionnaires on turn three. That guy's the hero we need. Yeah, that was pretty much it. I don't actually know the story. I just know that's what it's called. <laughs> oh, because it's unfortunate events. I got you. I got you. Now I get it. Now I understand. A new challenger has emerged. A new Boros challenger has emerged. I'm trying to make these lurchers the best we can get. Just be the best lurcher you can be. That's all I that's all I can say to you. Hmm. 
No, nope, that dude is friggin' huge. I feel like you have to pump this guy, right? Yeah, that seems fine. So now Lurcher is a 5-5, and if they try to kill it with some shenanigans, we get to brawl in response. That's pretty okay. Got him. That's a two for two. That's a recluse and a brawl for a lurcher and a rubble belt boy. Second main phase, I'll do a different thing. Okay, that's fascinating. Two lands. Nice. Oh, it says can be cast until your next turn. It should say could be maybe played until your next turn. That's an interesting little little thing. Uh, I think we play Otrata here. Reason being, it gives us protection from any any creature they play next. So, that's pretty okay. One, two, three, four. So, this next lot, Rise on Lurcher, is going to be a 6-6. Six, six. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is definitely a creature we're killing. I guess they're tapped out, so it doesn't really matter what we do here. Yeah, we got the old two-turn clock. That's a good one. Let's get the most uh, cumbersome gate that we have in our deck, and we can just play it now. I have become... This is also lethal because we have Swarm Guild Mage's ability. Cumbersome to this world. What was that seven Mary three? It is. The answer is yes. It is seven Mary three. I figured pernicious dude would be all over that one. It was only seven Mary two. Dang it. Actually, Mulder Hulk's pretty big. Keep. The worst part about streaming this late is that I actually have to go out and get the food after this. Sometimes I'm just like, I just want to go lay on the couch and relax. But then you're just like, nope, I still have to go get, I have to go procure my dinner. So I think it's actually turn two Swarm Guild Mage. We don't actually have... We have lands up until turn four if we really need them. Yeah, I don't feel like this is great. We have a Trotta. We can get rid of things. Order and Pizza is definitely an option. It's a lot of Boros creatures that are very, very good.
That's pretty good. Got Gateway Plaza here. Yes. Do I care about this guy? I don't think I care about this guy. I think we care about this guy. Because this guy's an easy block if they ever want to attack. I'd rather just get rid of the Legion Guild Mage. Especially because they're like a thousand years away from actually activating Terramander in any meaningful way. In your defense, tacos are pretty wondrous. I agree with you. Ancient man, take me by the hand. This feels like an easy block. Until they go rubble belt recluse and you're like, oh, where's my hired poisoner? That card's obnoxious for sure. Actually, let's actually attack first because we're not going to block. Oh, they also can't delve onto that because it's an adaptability. That's interesting. I've never had that come up because they obviously weren't in the same set, Mentor and Adapt, so that's that's an interesting interaction where, like, now it's just a 2-2 two -two flyer. I mean, to be fair, they have literal zero spells in here, so it's just going to cost eight mana. Like, that might be a little, might be a little too much. Selective Snare the Atrata. Okay. Well. Gotta do what you gotta do, my dude. They have one card? Okay. We'll keep at it. And also, guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, or even if you're watching on Twitch, and you're looking to for a way, to, a, a really sweet way to rent uh, physical decks or even digital decks on Magic Online, you should definitely check out Mana Traders, one of the one of the sponsors. Uh, you can go to manatraders.com and get all the information. And if you use the promo code or the link in the description, you will get 20 percent off your first three months, which is pretty sweet. That's what's known as a good deal. They have one card in hand. I don't really want a 3-3 here, but I guess it's like the best we can do. Bing, ding, ding, bing, ding, ding, bing, ding, ding. Also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Yep. If you're looking for a way to procure magical items, you can go to uh, coolstuffinc.com. And if you use promo code FRANK5, you'll get 5% off your total order. It's a pretty good deal. You'll never see a deal like that again. Oh, dang. Hmm. District Guide, take me by the guide. This is no. Let's go get a Golgari Guildgate.
And I'm probably going to pass here. I don't feel like this is a good trade. I also don't feel like this is a good trade. That's aggressive. And this guy floats on over. My god. That's brutal. So they should be dead on board uh, with the menace ability. Like we get to go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got him! Oh, it's just a land. I was actually assuming it was gonna be like a second inescapable blaze. All right. Eight. Let's make you have it. Oh, got him. Got him. That'll do, kids. That'll do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube. Also, check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, 15% off. Cool stuff. You can do uh, Frank 5 to get 5% off. And Mana Traders, the link is in the description below. And you'll get 20% off the first three months. All of those are pretty sweet deals. And they're great ways to support the stream for things you'll probably be using anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I already said that. I will see you next time.